Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to the detailed deep learning program. So in my today's class, I'll teach you what is bias and why we need bias. So let's begin. So guys, uh, just check this image. I have explained you this image in my last class also. So what we are doing over here is x1, x2, x3 are three input values and we have three weight values associated with the related inputs and we are passing all the inputs and their weights to neuron and over there the summation function is adding up all the values and after that we have activation function which is performing act any you know non-linearity on it performing any function uh, whatever activation function you will choose that function will get performed over here and again we are calculating loss and we are updating the weights right this is what we have done till now so today see over here in that image only i have added one more thing x1 x2 x3 are the three inputs here we are adding one more input to the neuron so bias is just a one extra input which we are providing to a neuron so bias is just a, another input value this will this will again be a random number and we always use bias as one at initial point okay so this is what bias is now okay so what would be the equation then if you are adding bias then what would be the equation x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 plus x3 into w3 and then we are adding bias this bias in it all right and rest of the process will be the same now what this bias is bias is just a extra input to our neuron now let's see over here so you can even say that bias is just like an intercept when when you have studied this linear algebra linear equation over there we have studied this equation y is equal to mx plus b or sometimes we write c mx plus c or mx plus b right so what this equation is x is our input y is our output this m is a slope so this m here is working as a weight so what we are in our equation if you see our equation we are multiplying input with weight we are multiplying this x with weight right so m is a weight x is our input value plus b b is a bias right as i've told you b is a bias so this b you can even say this that this b is a intercept over here right so the bias which i'm talking about that bias is acting as a intercept uh, when you talk about linear equation all right so what will happen why we are using this extra input why we are giving this extra input to our network so with the help of bias we can you know shift the activation functions right so when um, we are adding weights with inputs right one thing is this so when we add weights with input this is one thing second thing is we are adding bias by adding bias we can shift the result shift the output which we get over here we can shift the uh, results of activation function by using bias and one more thing let me tell you just see this last line over here so what we have written over here is b equals to a value of y when x is equal to 0 what this means is suppose the input this input is 0 let's suppose this input is 0 the value of the input value over here is 0 so when you multiply this 0 with any weight you will get 0 only that means over here we are getting 0 so uh, if this value is 0 over here and we have bias right then if we if this thing becomes 0 what will be the value of y the value which is present over here the value which is the value of b that will be the output so this is what we are saying over here so in simple words you can say let's suppose x is 0 and weight is some value and we have bias and the value of bias is 5 let's suppose 
द वैल्यू ऑफ बायस बी इज फाइव एंड एक्स इज जीरो सो वॉट एवर वेट वी हैव एन वी मल्टीप्लाई दैट वेट विद दिस इनपुट विल गेट जीरो देन वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई फाइव बिकॉज द वैल्यू ऑफ बायस इज फाइव ओके सो लेट मी शो यू द सेम थिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल एंड आई विल बी यूजिंग द एग्जाम्पल विच वी हैव यूज earlier let's see this example so guys i hope you guys are familiar with this thing w is a weight is a variable and the initial weight value is 2 and then bias the value of bias i have given is 1 and then x x is a placeholder that simply means i want to assign the value to x later on and then this is w into x plus v this is a linear equation right so this is the code for perceptor and also so we are multiplying weight into um inputs and then we are adding bias okay after that i'm starting a session and over here see i want to run linear model means i want to execute linear model variable what is there in linear model this equation the linear equation and x is a placeholder over here you can see x is a placeholder and we have to assign the value of x at the time of execution so now over here we are executing the code so that's why we have to uh, provide the value of x over here so i'm providing the value of x is 0 so now x is 0 when you will multiply this 0 with this weight value what you will get 0 and plus b and what is the value of b 1 so that means you will get output as 1 when the value of x is 0 at that time the value of b will become the output okay and one more thing let's suppose uh, you you don't have any value uh, to provide to your network then instead of you know uh, instead of um, what we are doing over there is we are providing some value to our network right by using a bias when all the inputs are blank so this is the, the, that's why we are using bias so guys in, in now you can see below also here i have created a list in x x is a placeholder right we can assign any value so earlier i have assigned single value but over here i'm giving three values to x so we are getting three ones as output why ones because bias is one okay and if you'll give any random input to any random input you will get output related to that after the calculation of that w into x plus b right so this is the concept of bias we use bias to shift the um, to shift the value of activation function okay so every neuron has two uh, two functions summation and activation so whenever you want to shift the results shift the value of activation function then we use bias for it right guys so just try this code yourself also right so this is this is a very uh, simple code i was just trying to tell you practically how bias will affect your code okay so thank you guys